Hogs mindless minions caught sticking sick item up their noses for foul reason, it's gone too far. David Hogg's weirdo generation of senseless teens just got the best news of their life. The news is that they could be the worst generation anyone has ever seen. This is all sparked by doing things such as eating Tide Pods to get social media likes, protesting to give their rights away, and now it's about to get a whole lot worse. If you thought Hogg's generation was bad when they were eating detergent, then wait until you see what they're doing next. It's absolutely horrible, disgusting, foul, and downright repulsive. The challenge you're about to see is absolutely horrific. Parents always hope their teenagers make smart decisions, but it seems like this generation might be parentless based on what we're seeing so far. Today's generation is taking the social challenges to another level. Some of the older crowd did the ice bucket challenge where they dumped buckets of ice water on their head to raise awareness for ALS. Some people did the cinnamon challenge where they ate a spoonful of cinnamon to see if they could handle it. The next generation started eating Tide Pods and they've taken it a notch. They are now snorting condoms in their noses and pulling them out of their mouth. It is unknown if the condoms are filled with a bodily fluid, but that hasn't derailed the teenagers from participating in a disturbing trend that's making its way around social media. Cleveland 19 reported more on the sick new trend of snorting condoms. Videos posted on social media show people unwrapping a condom from the packaging, snorting it up one nostril, and then attempting to pull it through the pharynx and out of the mouth. The challenge has been around for several years, but it is becoming popular again as people, mainly younger adults and teens, search for stupid trends to do during boredom that will go viral on the internet. It's dangerous because the condom could easily get stuck in the nose and throat blocking breathing and causing the challenger to choke. The nose is connected to the back of the mouth, it's also connected to the airwaves. There's every possibility something you push up your nose will end up in your windpipe, or in your lungs. With potentially fatal results, Dr. Carol Cooper told United Kingdom news company The Sun. In many of the videos, you can see pain on the faces of those who take part in the condom snorting challenge. It seems like just years ago we watched movies and television like Jackass take funny and extreme stunts to new heights. They ran shopping carts into things, smacked each other around, and did funny humorous pranks that caught everyone's attention. Granted, they were mostly practiced and performed in front of a team of professionals and people who can help if there's an injury. However, Today's teens have skipped all of the pranks and nonsense stunts and went straight to the violent disgusting acts of social media glory. The condom snorting is absolutely horrific and presents a risk of having people choke while they're on camera recording themselves put a sexual product inside their nostrils and pulling it out of their own throat. As if eating Tide Pods wasn't bad enough, the condom snorting challenge is just about the next most nasty thing we can see. People are wondering why anyone would want to put that in their nose when it smells horrible and people could choke if it gets stuck in their throat. The misguided teens place the condom in their nose and begin snorting it in. Then they try pulling it out of their mouth in the most disgusting and nasty thing you could ever imagine. Then they place their gross video on social media and people start liking the video and commenting on it. It almost becomes a challenge as people then try to compete with each other by posting their own videos and trying to get more likes than the last person. It's a disgusting challenge that people have become used to, but it's probably something that they should stop doing. Doing something funny, such as pranks or stunts, is one thing, but this is simply repulsive. Just imagine when these young teens apply for college and the school looks at their social media accounts and realizes they're looking at someone's condom snorting video. These videos probably won't help anyone get into college and it seems like some of the teens simply don't care. They'd rather have a few likes on social media instead of looking beyond the screen and into their future. Parents, if you find condoms in your teenager's possession, then please talk to them about using it the correct way. Condoms don't belong in the nose. And it seems like these teens sure need a refresher course. Sure course.